Hey everybody, how you going? Okay, since this object arrived, uh, I've gotten a couple of migraines. Uh, the lights have flickered off and on my computer, uh, both my laptop and my other computer. I'm just working, it just shuts off. And then I had to turn them back on. Now, luckily, my laptop, all the uh, passwords were saved, but on my other computer, I forgot my passwords. Had to call my internet provider find out what my password was so I get my internet back on my other uh, equipment. Um, I've had these really weird nightmares, two or three of them, but it's not, it's about victims. It's weird. Uh, so on, on Friday when we do some investigations, we're going to try to find out uh, what's going on. Quit giving me the willies. We're going to find out what's going on. And I go from there, but I just want to do a couple of little things here. I'm going to move here where you can see me. All right. You see the rods, hopefully. Uh, that way is better. Okay. Uh, spirits, could you please show me a yes? All right, go back to center. Thank you. To the thing in the box, have you been playing with the electricity in the house? Say no. Okay. <clears throat> Have you been playing with the lights? Yes. Go back to center. Have you been the one giving me these nightmares? Sorta. Of. Okay. Is it your victims that are giving me these nightmares? No. Okay. Um. Who was, were you messing, responsible for the computer? Yes. Huh. You're responsible for my headaches. Yeah, whoa. That's a big yes. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, see if we can get some answers with the lights. Are you responsible for moving the lights off and on in the house? Go up if it's yes. Are you responsible for the nightmares? Look at that. Do you see that? Are you responsible for my computer problems? Look at that. Are you responsible for all the strange stuff that's been happening in the last three or four days in this house? Are you prepared to be bound and put away? <laughs> Well, that's what's going to happen, thank goodness. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's some simple-ass responses <laughs> uh, that uh, pretty much tells you what's going on. So, I'm going to bind this to the table to make sure that the energy cannot leave one foot from any direction from the table. You are going to be bound. I call upon the holy uh, crossroads dirt to keep you within a foot of this table. That you cannot at all, none of your energy may leave from a foot around this table. I ask all the good spirits to lock this thing into place so it cannot go anywhere. Now bound to the table, and your energy may not leave the table area. I'm now going to use the binding 
salt will bind all your energy so you may only work around here you will not be able to use your energy elsewhere you will not be able to attach yourself to anything in my house to me to anyone that watches any of the cinemas you are stuck here I now ask my friend, Lady in White, who I've helped before, and we've known each other for some time, to put a bubble around this table, and to keep the energy here. So it cannot affect anybody or anywhere. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless this to keep this thing stuck. Alright. Spirit, can you reach here? Can you say something? Are you still there? Do you want to say something? Do you want your energy to touch the machine? There you go. <laughs> uh, it cannot penetrate the box. It can't even activate the K2 meter. So for now, so for now, we're good. We will see you Friday uh, when we do the actual investigation. Remember now, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a great day. Bye.